tell me something of your educational achievements apart from the educational percentage what you have what exceptional you have done in your btech curriculum which makes you different from other so i have uh, worked with my seniors in on a project on a mini project there i learned so many things that how a project should be done what are the stages how step by step you should do a project that's way and then i have also done my own project too a simple small project of data analysis so and i'm currently working on a simple project a small project so that's right now my achievement only only one exceptional thing which you have done nothing more than that yes so uh, projects apart from the projects what anything else you have done in your btech uh, i have uh, took participants in events also okay what kind of event events it is all about uh, the dance events we had on our teachers day and the friendship day celebration teachers day celebration why we celebrate teachers day lavisha to uh, show our respects to the teachers but but in the memory of whom we celebrate the teachers day sorry i forgot his name okay teachers day is not important at all we we celebrate valentine day in the memory of whom i don't know sir that <laughs> no idea do you have any idea about the air force day army day or navy day no which day you know I know Dance Day, International Dance Day, thirty April. International Jazz Day, thirty April. Okay. Or which your technical expertise area in the field of computer science you have? Uh, I know C language and Python language and a bit of C plus plus too. But right now I have a more interest in design field. I'm learning UX UI. currently i have interest in designing like how users think about a app or product that's a way i really like i like to i like softwares like adobe photoshop illustrator xd figma and all i really like to work on that software do you have any you do have any certification which has a weightage i am currently pursuing the course So first I will finish place? the course and I will have. It is a Google course. Google has started a okay. new program, Grow with Google. It is providing a uh, Google mm. is providing knowledge plus it is going to give certifications too. In that whole uh, process, mm. they are going to uh, teach you how to work on a project, how your thinking should be there, like how should you start a project, basically. and uh, how to maintain your documentations reports or case studies that's all i mean there are many google courses it's on the platform course era okay in which company you want to go do you have any dream company in your mind or anything you have planned anything you have thought about it um i am okay with any company which offer me good okay uh, any company yeah choti moti badi choti kuch bhi chalegi yes जो मिल जाए वो चलेगा नो बिकॉज आई थिंक सर दे ऑल हैव डिफरेंट थिंग्स टू प्रोवाइड यू इफ यू आर गोइंग टू गो इन अ स्मॉल कंपनी यू आर गोइंग टू डू ऑल द वर्क ऑन योर ओन सो योर नॉलेज इन योर ओन फील्ड विल डेवलप इफ यू व्हिच स्मॉल कंपनी यू वांट टू गो आई हैवंट फाउंड एनी स्मॉल कंपनीज लाइक व्हाटएवर आई सर्च इट इज टीसीएस टीसीएस इज अ स्मॉल कंपनी No, it is not small company. I haven't go through a small company yet, but you I know gold, that you can go in any company. Yes. So I think you must have search about it. There, what small companies are working in the market, which can give you the better work environment. No, if there is a startup of someone and they offers me a job, then I'm ready to do it. That's what I meant. Whatever the kind of startup it is all about.
So because I think in startups you do all your work, which gets divided when you can't work in a big MC. Okay. Okay, Lavisha. Nice talking to you. Thank you, sir. Over to over to Rathor sir. Good afternoon, Lavisha. Good afternoon, sir. Okay, nice seeing you again. Yeah. Okay. Uh, your name is it an English name or a Hindi name? It's a Hindi name. I haven't come across this word. What does it mean? Uh, love. A lover of God. Basically, okay. Lavisha is not a name. It's Lavisha name. Love is English word. But... Yeah, uh, that is what I'm explaining. Lavisha is not a uh, name. The name basic, the original name is Lavish. Lavish. But due to you know in in Hind. Uh, what does Lavish mean? Uh, luxury, lavishness, lavish. God of love, lover English. of God. Love, lavish. These are all English words. Yes. But you said that Lavisha is a Hindi word. I never caught across the Hindi. I mean, like Lavisha is not a name. Lavish is a name, but as people that. used to make the name, yeah. So okay, that's why it's Lavisha. I have also never English. seen Lavisha uh, name. Love and lavish, both are English words. Yes, sir. I don't know the Hindi meaning of it. I okay. always find the God of Love. You never try to find out. Uh, the meaning or origin of your name no i have always come across with these meanings only lover of god lavishness luxuriness that's all i never went to hindi meaning okay why engineering and why computer science uh from the childhood i have seen my cousins they were all in the tech field only so Oh, the, I have built up my mind to go in that field only because I was so much fascinated by all my cousins because I have a lot of cousins in the tech field only. So okay. I've uh, I've always read about these only key. None, none of them are doctors. No. None. There are CAs and engineers only. Why not CA then? I never have the interest in CA in. There was never an interest in CA. The CA, CA these days is a very hot career. Yes, sir. But I never get attracted to that field. You never got attracted to that field. Okay. Uh, okay, Lavisha, if I ask you, what are the three takeaways of this one and a half year of pandemic for? A student like you, who is in his third year or final year, three takeaways. Three takeaways. Ah, for a student, with the point of view of a student like you, who is about to pass out, or maybe about, like you said, that okay, one year is left for you to now complete your. So as this, because of this pandemic, the companies are getting very much losses, as we know, because there are not. so much of works coming to them so the already those who are working are actually struggling for their positions and now the freshers the people who are going to graduate this year on the next year or have graduated in the past year are getting struggled because they are not getting the positions they wanted or they are getting it but not the salaries they wanted and not all of the people are getting the jobs because already the people who were working are already there and there at such there is no work coming in this okay. pandemic so what are the takeaways for you that's what i'm My wanting to know what are the takeaways for a student like you any student engineering student basically three points one would be uh, uh finding a good job okay with uh, expected salaries okay and the second would be the environment too what is that because right now uh, the, everything is going to be online 
the interview is going to be online work from home okay. so you're not going to get the proper uh, idea about your, what team you are working in the better understanding and plus the trust too as you are not working with the people around you so uh, you have not build up the trust by talking and knowing about the colleagues they are working in and your higher authorities too because everything you are going to do is you're going to work from home only so there are not much interaction while you work from home there is some like meetings where they told you they gives only instructions but the you know the trust which builds up when you talk with other workers your seniors that's what i think but for your stream that is computer science whole lot of things are now becoming online including education yes right? so don't you think there are better opportunities now after the pandemic yes uh, so that it is also uh, there are also negative and positive points too i think the best opportunity from this pandemic is that uh, the work on your skills it gives you a lot of time to work on your skills to uh, search about different different fields where you can put your ideas and yeah i think this is the most positive thing about this that you can do sharp your skills and everything in this particular time if you made the advisor for the students who are just passing out or maybe passing out with you in a year what would be the free advice that you would like to give free advice i would like to give is that um, first of all don't uh, go in that whatever people have said you that this is the field you have to go into this no first search about different fields know what the different fields has to offer you like where your interest goes in because uh, working with your interest uh, is a fun thing okay uh, know about your interest where you can give your 100 percent in which field or in which uh, direction you can give your 100 percent and then work on your skills plus a uh, work know how the people work together because when you are learning you are going to work on the projects on your own you don't know how it works in a team so if you're working in a team then know about what uh, other persons has a work of style to do uh, and um, if you have found the field which you are comfortable with and you have you are loving to in, uh, explore in that then do it in one way like if you have decide like i have decided design so i'm going into this i'm exploring design things whatever trends and the, these are there that's all and then choose project a Okay, Lavisha. Nice talking to you. Thank you, sir. All the best. Thank you, Lavisha. Yes, sir. Ah, mine's on this side. Yes, sir. So I I have heard that you are telling to the Arvind sir that you are more interested in designing UI and UX. Yeah. Yes, sir. Well, what is uh, what do you mean by design thinking? So design thinking is like how to pursue, like how to uh, blend design according to the user. Like when you design, uh, it gives you a message. That's no, what no. I think because ultimately users is what we are making for. Everything we are making for only it is only for the users. Yes, sir. So, what do you mean by design thinking? It is a major part of the any of the basic designer course, and it is in so very uh, now it is in very uh, trendy, right? We also yes, have a workshop uh, workshop from the uh, I think uh, one of the medical company. So I have, yes, I have just started it, so I'm not ah. clear about what is exactly a design thinking. I have not a clear perception about it. But what I have learned is that. Okay. Uh, what is the basic difference between UI and UX? UX is basically about user experience, like how a user will interact with the system or how the user is going to use that system. And UI is how to present it to the user. It's about like colors and uh, typography, effects, these are what visual designing is comes under ui 
and UX experience is user research and knowing about what user is needed in the project, like what they are lacking, what they actually need, what makes them do, uh, like what errors can they get. That's what comes in user experience. And user interface is all about colors, how it's going to appear towards the user. That's what it is. So according to UX will be uh, dynamic. Sorry, sir. So according to you, the UX will be in dynamic in nature. Yes, sir. Right. So uh, can uh, this you uh, where we are using this concept of UI UX? So these can be uh, used in uh, web designing, well, website yeah. development, apps designing. Or in a product designing too, uh, in any product because uh, like uh, in a hardware too, because there is a prototyping made in the all, all of the steps in which we make the product. There is a prototyping in which we can make a little bit functions of that final product into a prototype and show to the te uh, you the you to the uh, organizations who have whose product it is that it is working well or not, or to add, I mean, to add some few features to or not. That's there, I think. Okay, uh, so uh, other than UI UX, you are comfortable in which of the technology? Uh, I am comfortable in C and Python languages, and I can website development too. Okay, so uh, can I ask the questions from Python? Uh, yeah, sure. Yeah, I think that during your time, I asked that what is the difference between mutable and immutable data types? Immutable and mutable. Yeah. yeah earlier, also, uh, earlier also, I asked the same question to all of the batch. Uh, sir, I think you have asked me about Google Meet, like how Google Meet works. Okay. Yes, that was the question. Immutable and mutable are mutables are assist uh, things which can be changed and immutables are which cannot be changed. So if immutable things cannot be changed, right? So why should we declare the immutable data types? We can make them as a constant. Yeah, we make them as a variable and we can use simply them in the, wherever we require. So why is this the concept of uh, mutable that has come? Uh, I don't know. Okay, so last question, uh, last, you only tell that I asked about how Google Meet works. Did you explore mm -hmm. how Google Meet works? So, I explored it, but it was out of my knowledge. Like it was too much of terminologies and that. So I didn't get the proper understanding. Any of the, of terminology, any of the terminology you remember? Only name, I'm asking the name that you remember that these terminologies are using in the Google Meet. Tom, uh, uh, I don't remember it. Okay, uh, all the best.